This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. Wow, just like that, Apple has dropped another new beta. This is iOS 16.5 Dev Beta 1. We're going to be going over all the features, and I'm going to quickly explain to you guys why I did not do a full review of iOS 16.4, and the reason is because it was not a big enough update. I cannot believe the other YouTubers that are going around saying that 16.4 was a huge update. It was not. It was small. It had new emoji, web app notifications, just some really small stuff, some bug fixes. Definitely go update but I'm not doing a full review because my other video that I did before uh, the final release went over all the new features. So go watch that video if you wanna learn more. For now, let's talk about 16.5. I am not going to make this a eight to 10 minute video. I'm gonna make it short, sweet, to the point. Let's get right into this. First off, the first thing you're gonna notice, if you guys are on the dev beta, you do not have a profile anymore. So if you pirated a developer beta profile, uh, you might get a pop-up stating that. Now, I have a paid profile, so I don't really know uh, what you guys are going to see, but I've heard in the community that some people are getting error pop-ups here. So you might be able to run through 16.5, uh, but for iOS 17, when it comes out in beta form, you're not going to be able to pirate the beta profiles like you did before. So keep that in mind. You might just want to hop on the public beta train if you don't want to pay the hundred bucks. Now, most of the features in 16.5 are very small, even smaller than 16.4, but just by a little bit, you're going to get some security updates as well as some small niceties like in apple news here uh, if i open it up you can see that there is a new sports tab in the middle this was not there before so you guys can go check that out add your favorite teams and get news on them so that is a pretty cool feature actually i'm glad they brought that into the news app another pretty cool thing is you can actually record your screen just by asking siri record my screen and just like that, it is now a screen recording you can see up there. You can't really interact with it like you can um, if you normally uh, start the screen recording, but you can stop it just like that. You can also stop it with your voice by saying, Siri, stop the recording. That's literally it. <laughs> I'm gonna end the video there, guys. Those are all the new features. There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes like security fixes and stuff, but nothing major that you guys are gonna wanna update to. So if you don't have a legitimate dev beta account, probably just ride this one out. Just wait until the public beta or just don't get it at all. There's not a whole lot here. If you do have a dev beta account that's legit, uh, go ahead, try it out, see if you like it. Uh, there's not a whole lot to see here. We'll see about the bugs as they progress. I'll make an update video, so subscribe for that. But I'm gonna make this video short and sweet so you guys don't have to watch a ton of ads. That's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, hit the big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.